What's going on to it again? Today we're going to do a review on the Sig Sauer P320 AXG Scorpion. A thing of beauty. Check that out. Got the Swamp Fox uh, <clears throat> optic on there with the uh, the Sig Sauer Foxtrot uh, light on. But they don't come with the gun, but <laughs> they're on the gun now. Um, like I said before, uh, most of my first couple of reviews are not going to be uh, unboxing or anything like that. Um, I've had the gun for a while, so uh, I'm just going to go over it. But <clears throat> it's not going to be an unboxing, but I do have to say that the, the greeny, um, the uh, Custom Works uh, case that it comes in is, is a beautiful thing. It's a work of art. Uh, of course, I don't have it with me, but I'll show it to you for the end of the video. Um, so let's get started. Uh, it comes with uh, three 17-round... Um, uh, of course, I had the wrong mags in there. Three 17 round uh, mags. Uh, now, they will fit um, the 21 rounds. Uh, magazines can go in there uh, just nicely and fit just flush with the bottom. So, mags is always good. So, anything that comes with three mags to me, that's, uh, that's a win right out the box. Like I said, it's the uh, P320. Um, with the uh, AXG uh, grip module, um, AXG just stands for uh, uh, Alloy uh, X Series Grip. So if you didn't know that, learn something new. I'm teaching over here, baby. Teaching. All right. So P320 uh, compact. So your typical uh, 3.9 inch um, slot. Uh, overall length I think is uh, 7.4 inches. So um, got a little weight on it. It's pretty heavy. Um, not quite as heavy as the X5 Legion, but uh, um, one pound 15 ounces is nothing to sneeze at. It's pretty good, uh, pretty good weight on a pretty, pretty heavy gun. I, I, you know, I said before I like heavy guns, so yeah, nice weight on that thing. So let's talk about the gun. Uh, we'll start off with the uh, the sights. It has the X ray 3 uh, day night sights to the front. I don't know if you can see there if I'm trying to show it without putting the gun at me. Green sights uh, up front. Ones with the tritium uh, in the in the rear. You see the rear sights there. Um, and so yeah, the plate. Um, you can take the plates off and put your red dot on and keep your um, your rear sights. But um, unless you get like suppressor um, sight heights, you won't be able to uh, to see through the rear sights to the front sights. So. Um, that may be a deal breaker for some, not for me. Um, but yeah, uh, if you put the red dot on there, you won't be able to use the rear sights unless you uh, upgrade to some bigger ones. Okay, so yeah, so the, the sights are not on the uh, the plate. But um, the plate, um, the gun is cut for the uh, the Romeo Pro, Sig Romeo Pro, uh, the Leopold, Leopold uh, Delta Point Pro, and the Trigicon RMR. But uh, anything with that footprint, like I said, you see, I got a Swamp Fox on there. So, uh, but that's what it's uh, that's what it's cut for uh, for those optics. So you can get something uh, with those optics or something with that that footprint. All right. So uh, the slot, three point nine inch slide. You see, they got the serrations in there. Nice uh, Cerakote uh, job. The slide is uh, it's not too bad. It may be a little heavy for some. Uh, I'm pretty sure after you uh, shoot it a couple of hundred, couple of thousand times, it'll be uh, pretty good. So it's not, um, you know, some people may want to get, you know, um, lighter springs or something in there. But to me, you know, it's uh, pretty good. And the serrations are uh, great. You can kind of get a uh, pretty good, pretty good grip on there. Kind of, yep. Oh, let me take that mag out. So you can kind of, yep. Manipulate the side pretty easily, no problem. That's good. It's not heavy, but if you you know you may want to invest in a, a recoil spring uh, system that's a little lighter. They do have them out there if you want to get um, a little lighter on the slide. But yeah, I'm uh, I'm good with it. It's perfect. Keep saying perfect about six, huh? We'll see. So what's next? Up oh, controls. Okay. So uh, take down lever. Yeah, pretty good. Just typical. Uh, P320 uh, takedown lever. The uh, slot lock lever, um, kind of like on the X5 Legion, is kind of pronounced, kind of sticks out quite a bit, so you can just kind of hit it pretty easily if you want to call it the slot. If 
you want to call it slide lock lever, it locks back pretty good. Slide release lever, even better. And also, it is uh, ambidextrous, so you can uh, kind of hit it on both sides if you want to. Um, yeah, slide lock lever sticks out very pronounced. Um, so, and it also has uh, you notice you can't see it. It has little serrations on it. So yeah, that's a cool thing too. So mag release. Uh, if you noticed, uh, mag release is uh, pronounced as ambidextrous. You can't switch it over to the left side if you're a lefty. So if you're a southpaw, that's a good thing. But you see, it kind of uh, sticks out. Like I said before, I like when you uh, slide rock release when you press it, and the gun uh, it comes out. That's just <laughs> you'd be surprised how many guns don't really do that. So yeah, this pronounced also has like little serrations on the side there. You can see, like I said, the 21 round fits in there um, just fine. Comes right out. Um, yeah, my hands, yep, yeah, perfect. You don't have to move your hands. Uh, well, I'm saying you don't have to, but you may have to. Yeah, just kind of right there, just kind of thumbs right, right there. Perfect size grip. So. Um, you know, bigger hands you may go over a little, smaller hands may not be able to reach it, but for me it's kind of kind of perfect, just kind of sits right there. So, love the uh, the mag release. I'm going to say again, I don't think you need to change it. Some people like to have it more pronounced, but that is, uh, that's very uh, pronounced as you can see. The grip module, you can see a uh, nice little color and everything on it. It's not... Um, it's a nice little grip, you know, got the high beaver tail, so once again, uh, you can get in there and don't have to worry about slide bite or anything uh, up here. Um, it's not very aggressive, again, so you may want to, uh, some people may want to add a little grip texture, uh, I wouldn't want to put anything over this, so, um, yeah, but it's not, it's not very uh, aggressive at all. It got some nice little grip, you know, so unless, unless you just get real sweaty, you got real small hands, uh, it should be a uh the grip should be pretty good like i said a high beaver to help you get that high nice tight grip that everybody should be having so the grip module uh my opinion is uh it's great it's a good thing nice high tight grip um you'll notice uh the magwell just your regular uh magwell i guess you can um put one on there uh flared Magwell, just a, a larger Magwell if you like, but that's just um, how it comes. It doesn't come with anything. So if you want to add something, uh, a Magwell, uh, there are screws that so you can do that. And also, uh, I guess you can tell because I got the light on here that does have a pick rail. So you can put your uh, your light um, or laser or whatever you want to put on there. Like I said, I got I just got the Foxtrot on there now. Um, I may upgrade to something else in the future, but for right now, I kind of kind of works for me um I try to put my uh better stuff on, on my carry guns and I don't really really reason I don't carry this one is I like it it's a good size but for me that beaver tail just kind of always sticks in my side and I got a little got a little extra weight on the side so well uh, you know <clears throat> okay so yeah so that's that's just with me so uh maybe when my fat ass lose a little weight I'll uh I'll, I'll start carrying this a little more I think it's a perfect size uh, carry gun so uh, customs work trigger it's a uh, legion trigger um, this thing is uh, is great you can see not a lot of pre-travel not gritty not squishy just you know kinda kinda pretty good uh, pretty prominent um, wall right there you see that yeah so that's not bad um, at all um, wall Got your click and your reset. Hear that? Yep. Not a lot of uh, creep in there. Yep. That is a good trigger, my man. It's a great trigger. Uh, a lot of people like to change their triggers out. Like I say, I'm a fan of the flat uh, skeletonized trigger, so I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna touch uh, none of any of mine. So. You may if you want to, but I like I like the trigger, the flat skeleton eyes. So custom works trigger. That is a that's a good thing. Work of art. All right, so we didn't got into the gun. We reviewed it, went over all the parts. Uh, let's see how this thing shoots. Uh, I'm going to predict since I've shot it before that it shoots pretty good, it's pretty accurate. But <laughs> let's go to the range and see what we got. All right. All right, so we're back out here at the range again, doing the uh, accuracy test for the. Uh, 
Six out AHG Scorpion. Once again, I'm going to do uh, five shots apiece from three, five, seven, and ten yards. So stick around. Let's see how I do. Just finished uh, shooting my shots with the uh, Scorpion in. Um, pretty good still. Now, I, I, one thing I did notice was that I was a little low, but I think that was all uh, on me. So you can see my three um, groupings, you know, pretty, uh, pretty tight groups. But uh, as you can notice, I am uh, a little low on my shots. And this one was um, five. That was seven I, and ten. And then I did another one, um, three, five, seven, ten. I did another one at 15. Um, so I just probably need to... Uh, with my red dot out, but I'm shooting a little closer than what I hit my red dot at, so it's a little low, but that's fine. Um, we'll get it straight and we'll uh, we'll tell you what the groups were when we do our review. All right, all right, so back from the range, as you saw, um, pretty accurate. Uh, you know, some people may be better or worse, but the gun, the gun is accurate. It's not, you don't have to do a lot of adjusting and moving sights around. So it's a pretty accurate gun, pretty, pretty gun. Um, looks, yeah, this thing gets a five out of me. Um, ergonomics everything is like four and a half five this this gun is is great i like the look um the feel the uh grip um the sights are great ergonomics um the price uh, a little pricey um maybe four out of five three and a half four out of five on the price um they're probably out there for maybe right around uh, maybe between nine to eleven hundred depending on where you can get it from um well and it may be going up now because I think the Scorpion has been uh, discontinued. So they're not making them anymore. So the price is probably going to go up on these things uh, a lot. So that is the AHG Scorpion. Uh, hope you liked the review. Uh, let me know in the comments whether you did or what you did. What I need to do better um, for reviews. I'm just getting started. So uh, any comments, any constructive criticism is... Uh, is welcome so uh like uh subscribe comment let me know how you feel um what you think about it and uh until then uh you guys stay safe shoot straight we will talk to you later all right so here at fitting and tactical we're trying to give you good quality content um especially for new shooters or uh, people that may be uh underrepresented in the community so um if these videos are helpful or informational uh like and subscribe uh just kind of help grow the channel. That's what we're trying to do is grow, get to as many people as possible. So if you like what you see, like and subscribe. All right, you guys stay safe.